Доброго вечора, ми з України. One of the most famous phrase right now during the, the last months here means midnight in Afghan Ukraine. Yeah, and the uh, weird thing started happening here in you know, already a month. The stupid and dirty word, word that nobody expected, nobody wanted, um, nobody was ready for actually. For us, it was, it started just like that in the morning. My brother called and said that we are under attack with rockets. We were like, what the hell are you trying? You know, but then we go to the kitchen, open the window, stay a few seconds and hear a few screams. And we understand that it's not like everything that was, you know, on the, on the, these screens, all of that escalation on conflict. It's not a joke anymore. It's actually a reality. And I believe all of you saw where does it lead right now? Like thousands of killed people, hundreds of killed kids, civilians, and uh, ruined cities and everything. So it's pretty. Really hard thing to experience when your friends are in the war, when your cities are bombarded with rockets almost every day. And he, like we are right now in the uh, west of Ukraine, so it's pretty, like I said, it's uh, the travel zone. Like, okay, you can go here on vacation because it's only like about 10 rockets at the moment fall on our city. It's really quiet, and we are lucky to be here. But other cities is not that lucky because they are ruined pretty bad and pretty. Um, I don't know how to say pretty dirty, you know, without any roofs, without any you know, so mercy and anything. We really have few friends in a city like Marie, who can hardly be called to wear them when they can answer. And, uh, I think we all saw the news, but uh, they said us like we are sitting in a department and uh, we cannot go outside because it's really dangerous. They are uh, shooting. On people when they wait in the lines for food or for water or something like this, uh, like they bombarded us, they uh, lay down on the floor for a day. Mostly, because in situations like this, you cannot sleep, and if you are trying to sleep, it's like very you wake up every every like ten minutes, fifteen minutes, like this. And you have no rest. It's very hard. And uh, uh, they said, they said last time that we talked with them, they said we are in uh, in apartment. We are in our apartment. We cannot go away because there are uh, dead bodies lay on the streets. And they and our Ukrainian army tried to uh, clear the streets, but uh, it's hard. It was like maybe two weeks ago. At least. And we really still don't have any contact with them. And uh, the same is a very hard situation. Uh, like people live in the basement and uh, smells outside because a lot, a lot of the bodies are very hard. But we actually should start at this introducing ourselves. We are designers from Ukraine, me and Oli. We design stuff for the company that Jamie was working in as well, it's called Zen Duster. And what I want to say about the about this hackathon, about people like us who design things, recording things, you know. First thing they should feel that you are useless because you cannot get AKM and shoot Russians, you know, you cannot blow up tanks, you cannot like use javelin. 
to have a few in my arms. We're waiting for this time soon, you know, soon, soon, sooner or later. And uh, yeah, you feel yourself really useless because you cannot directly somehow change the situation. But after that, I understand that people like us, people like you, you know, coding, you know, drawing images, you know, how to, you know, make manipulate information, media, apps, websites, everything are actually pretty powerful source because we're fighting not only in the physical world, but we're actually fighting in the this propaganda world. You know, we call to our friends from Russia and we are amazed that they answer the Russia and Belarus as well. Some people are some people understand what's happening, some people are completely uh, you know, they, they bring completely what's happening. So they need, uh, they need to see truth. They need some things, you know, like, uh, news apps. They need some, uh, some apps like, uh, be able to do some volunteer works, uh, humanitarian things and so on. So we right now as well, uh, would have this idea to film the stories of people. Who um, struggled on the world, you know, the use of this war. You want to film people like military, uh, army guys, their stories. And in, in two days, we would have you like our first interviews with real truth, with real stories of real people. And we want to as well to translate them on English so you as well guys can. Look at that, the, the real stories of real people. And I think it's pretty powerful thing, so I believe in this type of thing, and I believe in you guys that you can actually be there in the USA, in Canada, Australia, Ukraine, Germany, where whenever you are, you actually can change the situation. So thank you, Jimmy, and for organizing all of that and your team. Thank you guys. Yeah, we appreciate it so much.